Welcome back to the Gnome Show, everyone. I am Josh, your humble host, and it is my duty, nay, my pleasure, to trawl the briny depths of YouTube so that I may bring you the shininess. I cover short films of varying genres, video games, uh, analog and high, uh, so, uh, ugh, analog horror and sci-fi, and anything else that I think is groovy. I hope you'll enjoy tonight's offering, content for the blood god, on with the show. Tonight, we have The Silenced. Uh, is a, a short horror film from 2021 by Grant Donia Films. Donia, Donia, something. Uh, let me go ahead and give them a sub. Um, and like. Uh, this one is about 40 minutes, so uh, make sure you have something to drink, something to snack on, something to smoke on, uh, relax, and let's uh, see what the silence is all about. Is it? You have work in an hour. Get ready. I'm sorry. I'm, I must have slept through my alarm. D do you need breakfast? Whoops. After four long days, we have concluded with our top specialist that this was, in fact, a bear attack. We share the heartbreak with our community over this tragic loss of life, and we pray that the families may find some manner of peace during this difficult time. No questions. Get your ass here. Now. Investigation's still ongoing. 
but with no new evidence, we're going to have to consider that this might have been an animal attack. A bear attack, Nicholas? I mean, you may think we're all dumb, but that is what you're leaving me and the other parents with? A bear wouldn't have left me and my daughter with a closed casket last week. Spare me the politically correct bullshit, Nicholas. What is going on? Look, we got the whole town on this. I just don't understand how. The other parents are just as concerned. But they just want closure. Huh? And they'll take what they can get. God, this was so wrong, Diana, but we, we have to heal. All of us. It was disturbing, Diana. The, the state that they were left in and how they got there just doesn't make sense. here with us. Run. We gotta go! Come on! The kids cut through the tent from the inside out. You know, like they were running from something, like something that was already there. But as severe as their wounds were and the, the state of the scene, the whole town's on edge. It could have been one person, it could have been multiple people. I know how this sounds, but we're doing everything we can to bring you and the others some answers. Or at least some peace of mind. So four murdered kids is not something I'm going to let slip by, Diana. But I've got the interest of the town to think of. Well, I can't afford to think like that. You tell me what happened to my son, or I'm going to find out myself. Now you know. You didn't lose a child that day. Excuse me, but I've got to get to the school. I'm already late. I actually still have people that hold me accountable. She has every right to be fucking... <laughs> what can anyone say?
How was school? Awful. They had the memoriam thing for them today, and like, everyone was just looking at me. I knew I shouldn't have sent you today. I have a late shift at the diner tonight. Do you need anything? You know, like, maybe you should just stay back tonight. Take a break. I have to. I can't. You know that. We need the money. You've got college applications coming up. You know, given everything that's happening right now, I would have thought you'd like to spend some time with your daughter. But, you know, that's fine. Just ignore shit again. Hey, language! I mean, her brother was just fucking brutally murdered. I don't think anybody's gonna fucking act right right now. Someone's come home. Nothing out there. Why would why would you Oh shit. So is this, is, is just, is this just her mind fucking absolutely breaking or is she being haunted? Obviously, he's trying to tell her something. Oh, let's go. I can't. 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 I can't.
kind of stories that housewives tell their kids to scare them. What does this have to do no, with No, no, don't. Just, just listen. For years, they would tell us kids about the woman in the branches. You were never alone in the woods past sundown. They said she would take away your screams. <coughs> They've been telling that story for as long as I can remember. It goes back through our literature. This town was built on pain. People paid the price for their actions. This isn't funny. This is my son. Not some ghost story. You don't know what this is like. What I see when I look in the mirror. I know, Diana. What you and this town have gone through is downright terrible. But not everything has a linear answer. Some of us older folk were talking, and it seems this story has its revival in the community. But it's not all just old wives' tales. Aisle 23, Town Records and History Books. Like I said, you're not alone. You may find some answers. Mm. Why are you telling me this? Because you listened. My condolences again. Come find me again if you need anything. I'll look through my archives as well. Something like this, doesn't it?
gonna go to therapy together okay okay we're gonna get through this shit and then we're gonna really move on we're gonna do this together <laughs> so now you're giving up awesome makes sense i wasn't giving up what I happened was... to the fight for who did this oh. <laughs> no what even is this don't don't i can't be here right now not in this house i'm gonna go stay with jackson for a while oh, no sophie come on no, no, please. We should, we should stay together. No, I, no, we shouldn't. I would never give up. Really? Please, 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 Sophie, Sophie. <sighs> Kind of depressing and fucking selfish. Uh, uh, My mom said you can stay with us as long as you need. Yeah. I don't think I can be around that woman any longer. She just scrambles and panics and puts all this pressure on me. It should have been anyone but him. Not anyone else. Maybe you should say goodbye. Start grieving and processing it. Thank you. 
So, maybe we should turn back. I don't like it out here. Yeah, well, it was your suggestion. Yeah, well, I'm starting to regret it. upstream in white water and I'm going nowhere. Nowhere. And I'm just so angry. So angry. I just need something. That is some fucking crazy ass fucking visuals. very much the fucking uh, Where are of, you? Just uh, uh no no oh uh oh uh oh, oh there she is. At least in this you get to see the witch and uh, 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 you know unlike Where are way. you? Leave us alone Oh uh, well, shit That's all you that's all you are? Then you're just gonna run at him? I need you to come with me now. I didn't care. Did you? Sophie, honey, look at me. Look at me. I'm here. I'm right here. You are my daughter. My daughter. Please, Sophie. I need you to take my hand and come with me right now. 
I never should have let you walk out of that room. Damn it, Sophie. We are the only ones left, okay? I can't do this without you. Please don't leave me. I love you, and I always will. I promise I'll never leave you again, but right now, God, Sophie, please just take my fucking hand. <laughs> Sophie, where are you? Trippy ass business. <laughs> This may seem rudimentary, but bear with me. We're gonna do a little parts of speech review. In this piece of language here, a male horse is called a stallion, a female horse is called a mare. I like the way it's going, I think we can have a
dying Charles. Uh, dying motherfucking that bird. She's out there, Mom. Her breathing is slowing. She's waiting for you. Her mother. Please. Go. You know, negotiating with an angry spirit like that doesn't always go this well. So that was The Silenced uh, by uh, Grant Donia Films, however you say that. Um, go over and show them some love. Uh, like, subscribe, share, and follow. Uh, all that nice stuff it helps me survive. Um, be safe, be happy, be healthy. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>